You know, in Ybor City, it was a march through the streets with a stop to share stories of, of racial inequality. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo, she attended some of those ceremonies. It's a scene we've seen play out many times over the last few weeks. I'm talking to you. Come on. Really, really tranquil and serene. That's the vibe as people gather to honor Juneteenth in St. Pete. I'm appreciative of what the um, Juneteenth celebrates, giving my ancestors free freedom. But Priscilla Reed says there's still much more to be done and the black community needs more support. That's why organizers are showcasing what South St. Petersburg has to offer. All of the businesses that are set up are black owned businesses um, from the South side. T-shirts show the names of those who were taken too soon. Their names being present here is a constant reminder of the battle of what Juneteenth is about. So we're to a point there where there's no return. The young people, they're not going to be complacent like before. From Williams Park to Ybor City, these demonstrators wanted their voice to be heard loud and clear. Marching down Ybor City's brick streets. Demonstrators let the community know their movement continues. What about our children? Yes. Yo, we ain't doing it for us. From one father to the next. I'm here to support my 11 year old son. This moment on Juneteenth is a lesson they want to pass on. His voice matter. His black skin is not a weapon. His black skin matters. His life matters. And he can see white, black, Latinos, Asians, all stand in unity with him. I want to support him. And it starts right here with all of us standing together for something. Coming together on this important Juneteenth, and there are many more events planned over the weekend, both in person and virtual. We have a list of them posted right now on our website, 10tampabay.com.